is anxiety a mental disease or a punishment for those who are selfish? A topic inspired by Wes Watson. You know, Wes Watson, you know, when he speaks of, uh, you know, you don't, you don't have time to be anxious or depressed in prison or nervous. <clears throat> that with an environment like that, it puts you in a, the hunter, the prey would be the, be the hunter or the hunted. I'm, I'm no um, therapist or physiotherapist or psychiatrist, psychiatrist or even counselor, marriage counselor, or, um, or, or anything like that. Well, I have a high school diploma, this title, and life, life experience with some... Uh, traveling here and there and a couple of talks with people living life but 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 when he said that you know he, he simply just said that you know if you if you think about others man I know Jack but willing has put it <clears throat> that a leader can lead better. It's more likely to succeed <laughs> instead of um, being feeling sorry for himself or feeling their weakness or their discomfort. Instead, it'll make them um, unfocus on, not focus on discomfort or pain or being tired. Because as a leader, you gotta worry about your other men, who you're leading, your other troops. So, just, uh, you know, and, and it's, it's hard to explain out here in the civilian world, man, because uh, when people wonder why I hold certain beliefs or traits or habits, you know, why, why don't I quit, man? It's like, you know, you're this is drawing stuff. You know, you should just get back into, you know, an office job or just go back to tattooing and you know, you need a house, you need a, a nicer car. You need to wife have a wife and kids. And they think you know you know, these are the people that In unison, they'll say on Sunday night, they'll say, or Monday morning, Sunday night, they'll say, oh my goodness, tomorrow's Monday. Monday morning, they'll say, is it really Monday? It's not Sunday. And, uh, you know, the civilian world, it's all about me, 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 me. Fuck the team, man. Why should they get the promotion? You should get the promotion. You should get the credit. Um, lie, cheat, and steal. You know, that's why I like that wrestler, Eddie Guerrero. Um, <clears throat> because as much as he was a bad guy, he, <laughs> and he made Mexicans look bad on his uh, uh, persona, wrestling persona, um, I thought he was highlighting... Um, you know, the way that some people are, man. And I think, uh, I think if I was to do things in the Marine Corps, out in the civilian world, easily I'd hear someone would say, oh my goodness, it's like, are you sure you, you, sure you want to do that? 
You don't feel nervous, do you? Okay, well then you don't have to do that. Okay, do you need a break? Do you need do you need another break after your break you just came from? And we hear shit of you know safe spaces and trigger warnings, and I'm like, I I, I don't get that, nor do I want to get that. You know, when I hear uh, David Goggins speak, uh, I, I merely just take it as, oh, look, there, there's a human communicating with human. It's not uh, some person communicating on how to be politically correct, civilized, tame. be a word for this um, to kind of be uh, within the lines and, and I'm losing my thought because I know people will say man well, well just because you're not anxious and or because you, you don't feel this depression or because you know um, you don't feel lonely or because um, you don't have this anxiety and I think dude you, you know, if I, I, I could literally just sit back on this chair and think, now not just think, recall some very deadly times in my past, some violent things or some disappointing times or and be like oh no man life is unfair oh my <laughs> oh my goodness what's what's the point of all of this what's um life's so unfair oh my goodness I I need a hug I need um um I need some hot cocoa and a bagel I would like some hot cocoa and a bagel but Oh well, I don't have it. Let's get it done, man. I'm losing my train of thought because, again, unless unless you're a, a doctor or a neurosurgeon, or a neuroscientist, um, or some sort of doctor that deals with, a, or even a football coach that deals with head trauma. You know, no, what do you know, man? It's like you're none of those. And they say, dude, I, I've seen the transformation of people, man. To go up and to go down. I've seen people. work all night for a percentage of $15 for a night to working for just uh, not even an hour and earning thousands of dollars. Same person. Same person. And I've seen people look at people like that and other people that I know that are uh, effective with life not 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 just their life with life and they're like Pfft. well they're, uh, they're on steroids oh well they're crazy because they keep on practicing oh well, well they they need to do something because you know they, they need a wife and kids or well, they're, pro they're obviously not happy because you know what yeah they may have a bigger house oh you know that's not that's not um gonna be forever that's just his girlfriend that's not his wife and then they'll try to <laughs> people try to find um it's painful 
I'm not going to watch that because I think, when I see that, I think, man, you know what? When I gain more, grow, do more, accomplish more, I know that this motherfucker and there will be other motherfuckers that are going to hate on me or want to sabotage me or try to throw a hex on me. Well, think negatively. Will want my downfall. Will um, are, are not not necessarily watching me for success or growth, but merely watching me to totally be there when I fall, and 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 preferably don't get up. But yeah, yeah, no doubt I could fucking. Get all anxious. Oh my god! Um, I had this trauma in, in, in my in my past. Well, this person hurt me. What? All these other people hurt me. And um, you know, <clears throat> I could really um, I, I could I could hide hide under this desk right here. Be like, oh my god! So, oh, what? 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 what what if all those people escaped from the prisons tonight and they killed me? What if, uh, what if, what if this earthquake and uh, the jail here opens up and everyone comes out and they get murdered? What if, um, you know, I don't know where any uh, psychiatric ward or asylum is here in Los Angeles. I should look into that just to, to know. But what, what, what if um, someone releases all the patients and these arsonists, killers, rapists, or even worse, Hillary supporters come out? What if Hillary's elected tonight? And, uh, yeah, I, I could focus on that. I could focus on, oh, my God, what if this or that happens? And, uh, but, but I don't, man. Um, there's no guarantee of another sale. That I will make another sale. That my clients will call me back. That I will get new clients. That I won't get robbed. That I won't get my shit stolen. People will sabotage me and betray me. Um, recently, um, I, I got disappointed big time, and I was like, fuck, um, I was so disappointed, was it even a betrayal, I just simply, um, uh, haven't thought of it that much, but, overall the conclusion was, you know what? Well, now that uh, betrayal, disappointment had been there, let's burn that bridge. Fuck it, not even burn it. Dynamite. Damn the river. You know, not even damn the river. There was fucking some dead swine in there. Set the bridge on fire. And uh, block the roads uh, to that area. Fuck it. Um, even if it means going the, a longer way, a longer and steeper way, because at least it'll be more peaceful.
But what's Watson was, was saying, you know, when you think of a higher purpose or other people, you know, there's no 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 time to think of oh, oh little me, my feelings are hurt. I'm I'm so tired. No oh, fuck that man. Go for the cause for the for the war for um for the re-election to make a make America great again to to growth man to growth man. You know I'm so used I'm so used to seeing people win. A small battle and say, yeah, man, we've won the war. It's over. We can just relax, get fat and happy, and just party. And and, and they see people lose the hunger for um, um, I'm trying to think here because I'm marinating on this and. When I see people just just say, "Yeah, you, you know what?" This it's it's sort of like saying, um, let, "Let's say you you had an amazing meal, amazing dinner table set up, guest um, drinks, atmosphere, environment." And after after a lot of setup, hard work, saving, and now um, you your everything's done. The feast is done. Great times, a lot of laughs. Now you're rubbing your belly, farting and laughing. And I think only a fool would say from that point on, "Yeah, this is good. Yeah, this this this, this is good enough." Versus, you know what this 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 time was awesome, and I'm so glad I got this person and that person here. You know, we got this and that done, and uh, if we're gonna have more times like this, I'm pretty sure it would help me out and other people out. So let let me work on that. Let me plan for that. Let me execute for that. Let me um, get things in order for. Uh, for a repeat, man. Then a three-peat. And more tradition. But I think our, our traditions... Um, traditions... I know, I know the tradition that I was taught, man. Um, just get a own, not just a car, it had to be an SUV. Doesn't matter how dependable it was. What matters is if it had a, a, a shiny paint job. Um, it's gonna have big ass rims, and, and the stereo you got to be able to hear from hundred from within two hundred feet of wherever you're arriving. And uh, if you, if you do that, uh, you made it. And uh, and and for a while again, for a while I did think that that was it. That was um, my final form. I'm trying to what I what I uh, <clears throat> the question that I calculated something like. You know how much how much are we missing out on man because when it's on especially it's, it's dangerous when to watch on news on television man you know fox and uh any on it is toxic right but i think the shit on the left is far more I think one is uh, snake venom and the other one's uh, straight up fucking arsenic poison radioactive shit. And what we. Oh man. We 
you start thinking in tribes and skin colors. And and I know and I know I talk a lot of shit, man. But that's because I I think so many motherfuckers, you know, you know, rare is the exception if you're a quadriplegic. If you're blind, if you're fucking ninety nine years old, man. But I think, um, shit, man. I think majority of us can't contribute, man. I don't expect uh, someone like Anne Frank. Not Anne Frank, what's her name? Did I do? Helen Keller, the girl was blind and deaf. <laughs> I think that's what it makes it hit. So, uh, comment about a drill sergeant just said uh you're just about as useless <laughs> <clears throat> you're just as useless as Anne Frank's drum set I was like fuck don't know who Anne Frank is look it up Um, <laughs> society, society, anxiety. Um, yeah, you know, and you know what? I can't be like these other YouTubers that are like, "Hey, everybody, good morning." Well, they're going through divorce. The kids don't like them. <laughs> they're moving into a gated community far, 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 far away from you. <laughs> um, finding ways to shop around, shop on Amazon to avoid contact. I like all these stories that I hear about J-Lo and other stories that I've heard of. Uh, and these these are from people that I know, and some on, on Reddit that uh, you know J Lo and Christina Aguilera that are bitches that tell you to look away from them, don't don't make eye contact. And I think of some of these people, some of these YouTube stars that cry or, hey yo, what's up YouTube family? I think no, nah, no, nah, eventually they'll get to that stage. And to me, I'm not against about. I'm not against getting nicer things. Definitely not. But for us to overlook, oh, just one story. I need to go back on the YouTube video that I need to see. New section, but um, you know, I, <clears throat> I like looking at the Grionatas. G R I L L O N A U T A S two. That's the number two. Uh, website, website, not YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, you want to talk about a bad day? Yeah. You want to talk about having. Uh, poopy pants, a sad emoji. Go check out that channel, man. Go, go see um, what's happening, man. In, in other parts of the world, <laughs> fuck cyberbullying. How about um, I remember this one woman was, was one woman was protesting <clears throat> the release of the daughter's killer. I'm not sure if she was pregnant or she had just given birth. I think she was pregnant, but um, the dude uh, got out of pri got out of prison and the case is dismissed after serving I think weeks for uh, the murder of her daughter. And this guy was just connected to um, 
the proper criminal organization to um, have his time be uh, depleted. And as she kept on protesting and got uh, media coverage, uh, she, she was eventually gunned down. Uh, I, I don't recall what the... Um, um, because she was gunned down at the steps of City Hall of uh, whatever city she was in. And um, she was on the sidewalk on the city steps and the gunman is chasing her. And uh, he chased her between cars and guns her down and Drops like a sack of potatoes. And also, her killer, her daughter's killer, goes um, keeps on going, and and the mother, the the mother's murder goes. It's still unsolved, as far as I know. <clears throat> I've seen videos where the Mexican cops. This this will gonna piss me off and just remind me of this story that's but, um, they're arresting this woman and I, and I know people like this I ran into people like this and I, I walked by people like this I've supported people like this I've done business with people like this where you know they put in you know they're clocking in and they're selling bracelets trinkets Bubble gum, hot dogs, tacos, and uh, they buy the inventory in the morning or the day before, and um, fucking walk on foot, and or set up somewhere and, and uh, just sell. But the cops were impounding all of her shit. The other beautiful woman. Seen the woman um, was talking about how Mexican cops, two female cops, robbed her and beat her, and uh, she got up and continued selling her. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying to think what they were. I think churros. That's that's like a Mexican um, bread. It's a sugar cookie. Sugared all over. It sounds like some, you know, I can hear in the music right now that uh, <laughs> where I know the the production costs for um, some of these music videos are just get it done, man. Fuck the kid and just get it done. We gotta sell feelings. Capitalize on the romance, yo. You know, but, but uh, you know, such is life, man. Life is unfair, man. Um, and, and I could, again, I could get all, well, things shouldn't be that way, and I'm going to go protest in front of the Mexican embassy. What's that, what's that going to do, man, instead of, um, oh, you know, in the back of my mind, as I'm working on this, I think, you know, if I sell these prints, so all these shirts and get this staff and go to these shows and the income I could make and what would I do with all that money? No doubt invest in uh, something that shoots up more caffeine. Thank you for, you know, coffee machines. I know they're just called coffee machines, but I know those really fancy ones. One that one of those um, they're not, they're not um, T 
keyboards. So the ones that uh, where the cup, K cup, C cups, the Momoko shots. But eventually, I'll, I'll uh, cross that bridge when I get there. You know. <clears throat> but yeah, look, after I went through, you know, some discipline and betrayal, yeah, I could just say, I could get into the fetal position, get under his desk and say, man, life is so unfair, man. All you guys wouldn't, <laughs> you guys wouldn't understand. And, and, um, poor me, right? And uh, again, it's as simple as looking at the Griyonato's YouTube channel or, or just, uh, just remembering, man, how many people, um, I can grow with, man, help out, improve their life. You know why? I would want to improve their life because they're just good people, man. I've been along the shipment. A toy shipment. Toys. Not just for children, but for orphans. Poor children and orphans and getting the, uh, the delivery get uh, extorted and taxed by Mexican customs into their own pocket. I think, wow, well, how, how, how do you do that? That's the last thing I was had anything to do with that uh, sort of operation. Fuck them. And I think, you know what? I was going to operate, man, that. And, and I think, um, you know, one thing that I do have in the burning in the back of my mind, in the back burner, it's getting a, another dog, man. Um, it's one thing I don't want to, I don't want to recall so much as you know, the times I've been to, um, to, to animal shelters. I think I want this motherfucker and that motherfucker and this ugly motherfucker and this old motherfucker. And I think I need a place to shit and eat. There's one lady with a big heart, man. She, um... I'm pretty sure she has her dogs illegally because I think she has like seven or eight of them. Plus cats and other and birds and shit like that. But but I could tell she loves them. I could tell, man. Um, I could tell. But yeah, man, they're just poor animals, man. Poor dogs. Yeah, man, but just like, just like if you walk over some fucking homeless motherfucker just freezing, shivering, and I could not feel bad because I, because I'm here, you know? I don't want more motherfuckers on the street. I don't want you fucking uh, shitting, shitting in uh, the parking space that I'm pulling up to or you're having your, having to walk around your fucking shit on a dog walk, human shit. Um, I don't want to be getting some coffee or food or be in some business, have your fucking ass be like, oh, sir, can you scare a dog and come out the grocery store? Oh, sir, ma'am, sir, 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 excuse me, ma'am. Hey, 
Mister. Excuse me, you guys, you guys got twenty five cent. And some one black lady, fucking piece of shit. Not I. I remember one time I was uh, in a rush, I got some groceries. Came out the grocery store, did the uh, whatever the uh, self checkout. <laughs> And I'm coming out. Oh, I think I threw the coins in my back pocket. And then had the uh, a dollar in my hand with the uh, my groceries and the other. She's like, "Give me, can I have that dollar? Give me that dollar, motherfucker! Fucking piece of shit, fucking ass! I thought this fucking bitch. All these witnesses protect her." Set that bitch on fire. It's not right, man. It's not right. And again, people will go ahead to critiquing me about that, but you know, That's it for now. Except forget what the upload um, max length is. To be continued. Trump.